Hi, I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. So after last week's video, which talked about the Bad Batch, I want to talk about more specialized cloned commando units. By the way, if you want to watch my video about the Bad Batch, link's up there, or there, one of the two. But today we're going to talk about the Advanced Reconnaissance Commandos, also known as ARC Troopers. Now, the ARC Trooper program extended the entire duration of the Clone Wars, and really the entire duration of the Kaminoan cloning program, and yielded some of the best regular rank-and-file clone troopers available. Unlike a lot of other commando units in the clone army, ARC Troopers actually weren't specifically bred to be commando units. They were instead typically standard rank-and-file soldiers who had proven themselves in combat. As such, being an ARC Trooper was almost more of an honor than any of these other commando units because it was something you would earn instead of just you were bred to be a commando. One of the most famous and well-known ARC Troopers throughout the duration of the war was Rex, who served as Anakin's right-hand man and really one of the commanding officers of the 501st. But he was far from the only ARC Trooper. Over the course of the Clone Wars TV show, we see many ARC Troopers, including several regular Clone Troopers that get promoted to being ARC Troopers, such as Fives and Echo. But the position of ARC Trooper wasn't just an honor bestowed upon someone, it involved a whole other level of training. Generally, when a Trooper was pulled into the ARC program, they were sent back to be retrained in special tactics. This made them better leaders of their units and better soldiers in combat. Once they were sent back to the battlefield, they became crucial assets to whatever unit they were assigned to. Now, you could always tell ARC Troopers apart from the rest of the rank-and-file clone troopers. They were given their own specialized, modified armor that looked different from everyone else's. On top of that, they generally wore two waist pauldrons. Now, a lot of the time when we see ARC Troopers in action in the Clone Wars TV series, we see them using two DC-17 pistols. But that's not the only thing that they used. They used a variety of weapons and pretty much anything standard issue to the Grand Army of the Republic. The most interesting thing, though, about ARC Troopers is that their role seems to be distinctly different from any other Republic commando unit. Instead of going off on their own little missions, which I'm sure they did as well, we see them leading and being really involved with rank-and-file clone troopers. Generally, they fill more of a leadership role than what would be traditionally considered a commando role with the exception of the few occasions where they led small squads of clone troopers, which still usually composed primarily of regular clone troopers, led by one or two ARC troopers. This seems to go hand-in-hand -hand with their advanced training, putting them in leadership roles as opposed to individual commando roles. After all, they don't only have the advantage of their enhanced training, but they also have the advantage of having been rank-and-file clone troopers, been one of the many faceless soldiers of the war. It actually kind of reminds me of the Navy's Top Gun program. They pull pilots who they deem to be exceptional and put them in a specialized training program where they can learn tactics and strategies and take them back to their squadrons. It almost seems like the ARC Trooper program works in a very similar way, pulling clone troopers who have shown exceptional capabilities, training them up on strategies and tactics, and putting them back in with the rest of the clone troopers. This gives them a very interesting and unique role in the Grand Army of the Republic. But they're not the only type of clone commandos, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there's the Bad Batch, and there are a few other types, and I will talk about those very shortly. But if you enjoyed what you saw here today, or just want more sci-fi discussions, head down below with the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment. Tell me how you feel about the ARC Trooper program. Do you think it's a little odd to pull rank-and-file clone troopers when you can breed them to be better leaders and better commanders? Or do you think this is the best way to have commanders who know the experience of their soldiers? So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.